the overlay i very i very rarely break out the overlay but i felt like this was a game where i could use the overlay i like to think i could use the over oh lag oh no oh no it looks good is it fine hopefully it doesn't like detract from the game why why oh no oh dear oh are we okay now Ooh, super well optimized. Fingers crossed. You think I need to turn the graphics down a bit, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. What's the difference between ultra and very high? I feel like it just adds some more shading. Ah, bag. Maybe like this? Maybe this is better? Maybe this? Oh my god. Ah! Maybe maybe this half resolution? V-Sync windowed? I don't think that actually made it windowed mode. Ah! Try and enable V-Sync. Do you think it worked? Everything in Ultra with the ray tracing! Model's lagging a bit. Yeah, it was a bit. It was a bit scoofed. Uh, now can we turn it back up, maybe? And then leave this menu. We're fine. We're not here for graphics. Only scuff. Oh my god. Well, in episodic horror, fears to fathom. Maybe we should have started with the first game. Vex, thank you for the hundred fifty one. Offset for Giant Cinema World. Thank you. 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 Uh, trigger pointing on the BB. You must be good now. All right, all right. Yeah, I I'm supposed to be saving money, but I bought the giant cinema roll, and it was ninety dollars. Ninety dollars, chat. That's so much money. But I will say the giant build a bears tend to be cheaper than like when you get like a giant plushie elsewhere. Oh, ding on BB. I ain't gonna lie. This is the first time I played. Oh, I paid for membership. The rest were gifted. <laughs> Well, thank you! I don't know how you managed to go six months on free membership, but better than wasting on a shitty free-to-play MMO. True, true. True, true, true. Alright. You were playing episode four. Episode playtime, two hours. Is that for Warrior Link on BBB? What? I could drive the $10, nothing like chilling and watching my Oshi play a horror game. Oh god. Ah! Ah! Maybe let's turn that back down again? Medium. How about that? How about that? Good luck, Pippa. Thank you, thank you, and happy birthday! Happy birthday, Echo Drift! The Pokemon Bingo 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 Alright. Okay, let's try this. Lag? Oh, it's lagging. No, oh, it's lagging. Oh god. Oh god. Fears to Fathom, Episode 4, Iron Bark Lookout, May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were oh, requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom, Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It kind of feel, oh, it feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. But thankfully, you're really gullible. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Rodrigo, I'm going to be Put a dark and stormy night. I'm Jack Nelson. Oh, sorry. Hmm. I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. 
I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. I should take a clarity. Whoa! Why is to drive? What if I don't want to drive? What if I just want to drift off into this other... Roseburg! I know where that is! What if I just want to drift off to the side? What if I don't want to drive? Nope. I wasn't very proud. I wasn't very proud of my driving. In fact, I really sucked at it. Like, really badly. But, to be honest, I didn't want to go to Roseburg. It's kind of a shitty town. Almost as bad as Eugene. But not quite. Actually, the only good thing about Roseburg is that every so often, there would do bird marts there. But then, the bird flu struck. And I lived a very solitary life because bird marts weren't a thing anymore. It helps quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay, the memories of all the birds dying at the Roseburg Bird Mart. I mean, I didn't witness that. It's more like it just got canceled. It was like COVID, but for birds. Yeah, bird COVID. And then I decided if the birds weren't gonna live, then I didn't want to either. I should have taken it easy. Ah! 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 and I didn't want to go to Roseburg anymore because of <laughs> Sorry. Anyways. Oh, what does this sign say? Oh, fuck! Roseburg, Fairbanks, Ironbark Park. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I like this lo-fi hip-hop vibe. I really like... There was this one... Oh, I felt like I was at home in the woods. There was this, there was this one person who uploaded music called Atlas Dot or whatever. I used to really like his music. Oh, it's also like maybe a bit of love. I just got here. What the fuck is going on? We're going to Roseburg. Three new text messages. How do I check? How do I, how do I check my text messages? I don't know how to check those. You hate hip hop? Hip hop? Both my hip hop is goaded, dude. It's so, it's so like... I don't know, it makes me feel melancholic. Yes, check while driving, yes. Ew! Ew, look at these houses. Oh shit! Ah, Roseburg. This doesn't look like Roseburg. <laughs> uh, excuse me, what part of Roseburg is this? Hello? I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Is this a real diner? I don't think this is... I don't think this is a real driver. Oh wait, I can actually get out. Whoa! This is a nice little RV. Oh! My parents had an RV once. They've had a lot of RVs. My parents! Uh, auxiliary character named Dolores. Lo-fi is... Is that a shrimp emoji? It's yellow on yellow. I can't see what that is. My parents, like, would get an RV, and we'd have it for like a year, and then they'd sell it. And then they, like, a couple years later, they'd get another RV, and then they'd sell it. And then a couple years later, they'd get another RV, and then they'd sell it. <laughs> or rather than, rather than just like RVs, it would also be like, like, like campers and stuff to go on like the bed of a truck. Oh, it's like the okay sign. Okay, okay. Aren't you RVs in expensive to insure and crap? I have no idea, because I was a kid. Were they profiting at least? I don't think so. I think they made their money back at least, but... Oh. Did they flip them for profit? Not that I know of. Hello. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? 
Not too bad. Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. All right, thank you. Did I just change my hair color and stuff? I think I did. Hot key toggle, oops. What you eating? Please leave me alone. Okay. Please leave me alone. Okay, sorry, sorry. No smoking. You look a little lost. I'm just passing through. So where are you headed? Um, starting my new job at nearby state park, or that's not that's none of your business. I guess not. Average friendliness of the average Oregon resident. And the average Oregonian. Da, 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 da. <laughs> mind if I join you? Do mind if I join you? He just stared at me. Oh, you guys can't see the you guys can't see the subtitles. You'll have to trust me to narrate. People in Oregon are mean, chat. Oh, the toilet spawned out of nowhere. Ar Argonians are some of the meanest motherfuckers. I don't know why. I don't know who's mean, though. People from Washington or people from Oregon. Tell us about it. It's just like... I think it's like the woods or something. It just makes you crazy. It makes you crazy, and it makes you antisocial. Argonian. No, Oregonians. People from Oregon. It's because they live in Oregon, true. They have to pay an extraordinary amount for their fucking rent. And it's impossible to find a house. And it's not even worth living there, man. It's not even worth it, dude. You pay... You pay, like, two times the price of anywhere else in the country. For a half of what... You like you would normally get. Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? Oh, I, I mix up the voices. I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? Just stay on the road. We can be so cool and aloof. It's literally like that in every city. Yeah, but the thing with Oregon is you'll be in bumfuck nowhere. And it'll be like, that'll be $2,500 for your one bedroom, one bathroom, uh... Trailer. Uh, uh, two thousand five hundred dollars for your uh one bedroom, one bathroom, uh single wide, uh stationed uh fifty miles south of the nearest town, and the nearest town is population five thousand. Enjoy, but don't worry. For some fucking reason, you're on ten acres of land, and you're like, Ugh. okay. That's... Well, at least I'm on 10 acres of land. Can't do anything with it. But all right. Oregon's crazy. But zero crime? Uh, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. This charming thing about Oregon... I'm talking about Oregon, like, as a whole. Not, like, just Portland or whatever, right? The majority of Oregon is, like, a fucking... It's just woods, dude. It's just woods. You go up towards Portland, and... Okay, chat. If you look at, like, the most populated towns in Oregon, it's Portland at the top of the list, right? And then there's, like, all these other towns that are, like, population 100,000. But if you actually look at the map, they're just, like, offshoots of Portland. Nobody lives in Oregon. Everybody, everybody just lives around Portland, which is, like, the border of Washington. The next, like, actually densely populated towns are like Eugene and Salem. And both of those fuckers are like so spread out. Like they are, they are so spread out. Oh, couldn't drive with the door wide open. Dropping in, well, you know, you're pretty cool. Thank you, thank you. It's, oh, a bend and bend and bend. Oh. Well, I stopped for a second. I didn't really do anything. But I live in Oregon. Well, where do you live? Oh, I missed the diner at first. No, I didn't. I went in. I went in. I didn't read anything from Dolores. Can we go to Cannon Beach, Pippa? Yeah. Short hair cut is killing me with... Oh, oh, fuck. I should have taken it easy. I was starving. I had to get food. But I just went into the diner. Didn't stop to eat. What the fuck is this music? I like this music. Cannon Beach is lit, though. I've not actually been to Cannon Beach. Ah. Oops. 
This is a good parking spot. Don't forget Corvallis! Corvallis isn't that big. You never sat down. Oh, I have to sit down? A Peppa, I exist in nowhere, Oregon town. <laughs> Typical woman driver. Free parking. Don't worry about it. Pismo Beach and all the clams we can eat? Aww. Medford is a town. Med yeah, Medford's a place that exists. Not a good place that exists, but it's a place that exists. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. So what can I get for you today? Cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, meatball sub with chicken nuggets. <gasps> chicken nuggies! Very well, would you like anything to drink? A large coke, a coffee, or a strawberry slush? I'll take a coffee to keep me awake while I drive. Perfect, anything else? That will be all thank you, that's it. No. Great, I'll bring the food just as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Will do, or sounds good, appreciate it. Will do. Chicken nuggies with extra honey mussy. Then we own the shithole plot with a rundown farmhouse an hour from Portland. I hate it. Then I'll see you Have you ever been to Antelope? I know a gal from there. I've not been to Antelope. Please, does anyone know if she has Tourette's? I do not have Tourette's. This ain't the South. Don't have to be polite. Oh, I really had to pee. That's what the subtitles say. I'm not just saying that randomly. <laughs> oh, she even eats like she's there. Ah, yabba! I spilled. <laughs> I pissed deliberately on the rim. Barbara! Barbara, can you come help me aim, Barbara? Barbara, I need help aiming. I decided not to mop up my piss mess. I did dry my hands. I didn't wash my hands, but I dried my hands. And then I washed my hands after I dried them. And then I left the bathroom without drying my hands a second time. <laughs> Your average men's bathroom experience. So not funny, they can be average public restroom. Work on your aim, brother! <laughs> I'm in a rabbit's dream. I was a fool thing of me be high to the high! How much for the pee? You can't have any. Oh. <gasps> I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. Not really. You can just drive back down the road. You're allowed to take breaks, you know. Is that a meatball sub or a hot dog? Uh, it was a meatball sub. I have coffee. I got a coffee for this trip. Shut the fuck up, Kayla Nelson, you fucking whore. I don't want to fucking talk to you, bitch. Oh, you know what Medford's famous for? You know what Medford's famous for? That crazy, like, 16-year-old girl that was, like, an honor student and stuff. And she was, she was dating, like, the local, the local m'lady, katana-wielding weeaboo guy. And then they killed her parent, or they killed her dad. With, like, a baseball bat. And he was like, he had like autism and stuff. It was like really like zoinked out of his mind. And he was like, I have to protect her. I am her lawyer. You cannot talk to her without, without talking to me first. I will, I, I, you will regret messing with me. You guys remember that? They dumped her dad's corpse on the side of the road and a guy or a woman walking her dog found him. Did you enjoy the food? Would you like to have anything else, or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Is this the- Yeah! The- You don't want to see me release my bipolar! You're gonna make me release my bipolar, and you're gonna regret it! That guy. Oh, it was so good. Here's the check! Your total is 660. Pay 660, pay 660 and 50% tip, pay 660 and 50% tip. I want to be 
an asshole this run. I really want to tap into the Orgonian spirit. So we're not gonna tip. <laughs> Bros, I don't think she's very happy. I don't think she's very happy. She's gonna slash her tires. <laughs> the Argonian Orgonians are Argonians. It's not asshole ish to tip, they have a salary. This is Oregon. Your salary is not gonna cover shit. She's going to spin your coffee next time. Oh, that's okay, I'm into that. Uh, listen, buddy, I'm getting off tonight knowing she's gonna be wiping up my piss off the floor. <laughs> that's probably like the worst thing I've ever said. <laughs> That's like the worst thing I've ever said, baby. <laughs> Clip. <laughs> no, it's not? Okay, well... You know what? I decided I don't want to go to Roseburg. You know what? I'm gonna head down this road. We're going to Bend. We don't need to go to Roseburg. Is it not gonna, like, yell at me for driving the wrong way or anything? Go home now. What if we just go the wrong way? What's it gonna do? Let's not go to Roseburg. It's a silly place. <laughs> Is your car nuclear powered? I don't know. Might be, the way it's fucking glowing. Ah, oh, man. The beautiful... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oi! You're the one ramming into me, you son of a bitch! Oi! Ah, oh, the beautiful, the beautiful organ landscapes. Wow. Whoa, is that... Is that Mount Rainier? I'm sure we're going the wrong direction, but... Wow. Oh, fuck! Speed up, Grandma. Typical woman driver. I don't think we can go any faster. Okay, I think maybe we should turn around. I think maybe we should turn around. It's a straight road. It's... No, it's it's a curved road. Yeah, Rainier's in Washington. But you can see it from Morgan. Ow! Fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, there we go. We turned around. I just wanted to drive through Roseburg again. You know what else Medford has? I'm still thinking about Medford. It has... Or used to have. It used to have a Barnes and Noble. Next to a Toys R Us. And there was a mall that had GameStop and games etc. in it. That was that was so cracked. Medford was the place to go. You miss borders? I think there was a borders in Medford. So it was heaven for you, yeah. The person who runs Goatlings.com also lives in Medford. That's not like weird information or anything. Like it, it was listed on her Etsy store. Welcome, Lang Name Friend Dolores. Hello, I would like to get insurance for this RV. Um for this RV with myself as the beneficiary. Young leaving one was it's okay, Pippa. The way you speak your mind is the reason why you're my Yoshi. Say whatever you want, Pippa. 8 or 2 p.m. Surely the place to be. I miss games, etc. Behind you. Oh no! The Pipkin sedan runs on coke and fungus. Oh yeah, what Oregon has! Oh, I wanted to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. What does the sign say? Parking RV permit only. Oh, parking by permit only. The man one's chasing you. Why is it so bright? I don't know. Are we there yet? Hmm. I drove past the trail at first, because I'm a fucking moron. But then I just kept on driving, because I decided I didn't actually want to go. Zozo Lincoln Lords has finished a book said Morgan, De Evolution by Max Brook, about an eco community isolated by May Mount Rainier erupting and they get attacked by a group of Bigfoots, really obnoxious West Coast types. The fairy is right in, I'm being I like pine. Oh! What did I hit? 
fucking bush in the road? Mingle mingle dingle mingle ding for doors. Oh, the invisible bar barrier. Mingle mingle dingle dingle for doors. Every tuba I've seen play this has often powered their car on this road. There's evidence you all aren't men with voice changers. That's it? What? What do you mean? Can you drive any slower? Listen, I don't control the speed. I don't control the speed, sir. I got hit by an invisible ball. Leave me alone. Damn railroading game. This is bullshit. I should just be allowed to keep on driving. Man. I think I fucked up my RV and now it doesn't want to drive good no more. Pedal to the metal. I don't have any pedal to the metal. For some reason, I don't have legs. I'm gonna park right in front of this RV. So he can't pull out. But not only am I gonna do that, I'm gonna park perfectly. So that this this truck also cannot get out. Sucks to suck, idiot. Oh wait, do I need to walk down the trail or drive down the trail? I just realized. I think I have to walk. Scary music's playing. Do not enter. Do I have to walk? Negative karma, Maxon. Hey, I'm moving. Don't be pee pee. Oh, fuck, dude. Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. You scared me. One of who? What do you mean? One of who? May Lord have mercy. Huh? Hmm. Anyways, I, can I see your permit, please? You're Billy, right? Hmm. I'm the new transferred fire lookout. I was told to report here. What for? I'm the new. What? 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 what, what, what? There's somebody walking in the woods. What the hell? Chad, did you see that? Chad, there was somebody. There was somebody walking. Oh. I'm the new transferred fire lookout staffer. Correct. I didn't know we were hiring this season. Mm. Hold on, let me check that. Mm. Hello, is there somebody out here walking in the woods? Hello? Oops. Oops. I'm hitting all the toggles. All right, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed to fire tower living. Mm. I apologize for the confusion. I was just under the impression that the tower would be left understaffed for the season. But here are your keys. I take the keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. This is cringe. Who actually goes on these kinds of trails? Oh no, missing persons. Please stay on the trail. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike for the work lookout. Thank you, Billy. I might... thought I might need one. You be careful! Take this! I take the flashlight. Welcome to Ironbark, pal! Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from the system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out the 12... You can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. You have a good day. Uh-huh. Hi. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. Oh, well, it's Oregon. There's bobcats and bears everywhere. See you around. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Switch back shortcutting destroys the vegetation. Please don't litter. Please pack out all trash you don't burn. Don't bury trash. Animals will dig it up. Can I drive this road? I'm gonna try and drive. He's sending you to your death. I just don't think it's very responsible to go out hiking in the middle of the woods at night. Like, even if it is your job to go out to the tower, 
Why would you go at night? Are bobcats that dangerous? Yeah, they'll fuck you up. Only IRL. Oops. What could go wrong? Seems like a pretty bad idea. Looks like an OSHA violation. You just don't know how to have fun. My bad. I think crashing into trees is pretty fun. They're cute and fluffy and I want to pet them. They'll fucking kill you. They'll fucking kill you. They don't care. Hmm. Let's see if we can fit through here. Oops. I drove my RV onto the foot trail. I remembered Mitch said that I was going to be on foot from here, but I didn't care. Because I was determined to drive the foot trail. Even if it meant I had to get up to a little bit of shenanigans at my new workplace. Let's see here. Silver Ash. Thank you for the five dollars, but no, I gotta go back to work. No, I want to see the crack rabbit live. Ninku Ninku. Remember your animal repellent? Do we have bear spray? Happy birthday, Pippa. It's not my birthday. But thank you. I just don't understand why you would go on one of these, like, trails and stuff. Because if you're in Oregon, there's so many, like... There's so much, like, BLM land and stuff you can just go on to, you know? Like, you don't have to... You don't have to, um... Go on, like, these pre-made trails and stuff. You can just go up into the mountains. It doesn't even matter. Okay, I don't think we can leave. It just seems like a waste. You're not getting the authentic nature experience. There's invisible walls. Okay, this does help me run. Okay, I need to disable... ...not geese. <laughs> there we go. There we go. If the lead goes hard, I'm always leaning. Should I correct my lean as well? There. There. I'm just always so tilted. Trails are safer? Trails are cringe. Chat, I think people go on trails because they're pussies. I think there's plenty of mountains out there. I left my bag in my RV at first. God damn it. It's just cringe. Like, unless you're, unless you're like going out on like ATVs or something. Why would you, why would you deliberately go somewhere that's gonna have more people, it's gonna be more... ...touched by civilization, it's gonna be like, it's just, it's just not an authentic experience. There's gonna be like, less animals and stuff, which I guess is a good thing if you don't want to get fucked over by a bear, but like, you're also not gonna see as many like, birds and stuff. Are there anything else? Got more trash? Some places are worth seeing. I mean, I guess, but... What's amazing? Don't be me. It was a type to walk 10 feet off the trail, spraying her ankle. No. Oh god, this is really not well optimized. It's the can. Look at me. I'm outdoorsy shit. Exactly. Look, I'm not saying you have to go do full-on, like, fucking bushcraft out in the middle of goddamn nowhere. The trail. No bikes, only horses. Stay on the trail. But if you're seeing like these kinds of signs and shit, you know you you know you're doing something wrong. This PowerPoint experience. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Oops, it's crashing. Oh, here we go. 11:32 p.m. It was a long hike and it was starting to get cold now. I was a fucking idiot for going on a hike in the middle of the goddamn night. What's this tower? Tower 11. Frequency Tower 11. Yeah, like, I've never seen one of these before. I've gone up into the mountains and stuff. Oh! So, oh, wait, there's lots of messages. Congratulations! Oh, congratulations on the transfer. Feeling ready for the change? Just reaching you to tell you that you've been assigned to Tower 11. Welcome on board. This is Mitch, by the way, from Ironbark. Thank you. Heard a lot about you from Josh. Very excited to meet you. Just got my ID today. Your ship starts on the 12th. Sounds good. I'll be there. Anything I need to know? I have your papers, just bring your ID. Josh told me the job is not news to you. Can I ask you one question? Sure. Why did you pick up this job initially? Not sure how to answer that. I just enjoy the thrill, or lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry, I just asked this question to everyone joining this line of work. People join looking for a getaway or discover who they really are, only to leave without notice. I guess they're better off in a cubicle. 
To be honest with you, I joined Iron Horse last year not knowing what to expect, but the solitary life has grown on me. For me, I came through city life. This is where I belong. He says, on a densely populated trail. And I'm sure I adapt just fine to Iron Bark. Good, I hope you fare better than the last lady. Where can I park my van? So you're driving on a We didn't drive a van. Why are there Mac OS window icons on a phone? Good question. Just park your truck around back on the gravel gate- or Gravel park by gate D. Got it. And from there you'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek Trail. From there it will take you a couple hours until you reach the tower. Okay, got it. Thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show me your ID. Bitch. Bitch. I can't send the message. Okay, and we have these messages from Kayla. Um... Oh my god, the lag is so bad. This new original manager is such a jack. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up in nature, away from people, and getting... Just getting paid to watch the wind go by. Uh, you also, you also, you also have to pick up, like, litter and shit, Kayla. Wish my job was really that easy, Kay. I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure joining you next season. <laughs> like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me to talk to Josh. It's definitely time for a change. Speaking of change... Ironbark? They're staffing me to Ironbark next month. The one after Rosebark? Yeah, I heard they got bigger staff cabins and less campers. Call me! With that, I'll call you back. How's it looking? Still on my way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today about of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass a Rosebark yet? No. Why? I remember there's this diner while passing Roseburg. They had the best burgers in town. You have to try them. Oh, I, I got the meatball. I just did anything for 333! Game devs should... That's chillers for optimization advice. <laughs> they should. I'm here, still eating. This is so good. Told ya! <laughs> this food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Oh my god! Oh wait. Wow, yeah! I'm on the way home. Send you in a bit. Alright. The fox saying we're fine dollars. My parents found the he had covers of yours and started watching some of your VODs. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Oh, I can't go very far off the trail. Hmm. You have to pay for ham radio license and technically become a fed. If you work on federally protected land, I'm pretty sure you don't even get to have a gun. I guarantee these people have guns. I guarantee they have guns. There's just- there's just no reason not to. Oh, I should adjust the super chat thing so I can see when you guys super chat and not just when you tip. Mango mango tango mango thing! Dolores Pippa is bad at checking her DMs and Nvidia as IRL. Uh, John Garrison, thank you for five dollars. Do you know how many people go off the trail and never get seen again? Stupid people who don't know how to use a compass. Or think, why would I use a compass? I can tell the way back. That's got crazy, Gumpy V. You sound like the VA from Day Sex. Old Creek Trail. Now we're going to Tower 11. They lost all their guns in an unfortunate boating accident. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Hmm. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Oh, I could do this shit hands down. But I've always had a fondness for outdoors. This shit would be so easy, man. Utility shack. Should I check here first? Table hey, Mandrake, they find those white trails because mountain lions, bears, wolves, and moose. I was attacked by... Oh, I was targeted by a pack of wolves while hunting ones. And that was enough for one life. My hands were full. I guess maybe we don't need anything from here. What if I turn the light on? I guess I can't. There's no internet? Well, I can't do it while I'm streaming. I can't do it while I'm streaming. But depending on where you are, you might be able to get... You might be able to get cell reception. I feel like if you're... If you're this close to town and stuff... I mean, it says, like, no service, but... Realistically... I send it to the stop. To the, uh, I send it the stairs to the top of the tower. It just depends on where you are. 
Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. The cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. A very easy, yeah. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. My hands were full. Forgot to turn on the generator first. Oh, I do have to go back down! God damn it. Oh, no, I need that! Okay. Oh, Iron Bark Fire Department. All lookouts must follow these rules while occupying the tower. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests in the lookout. System password is Iron Bark and the tower number. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. Remember to call your sister station before you sleep. Seems like a comfy space for what it's worth, not gonna lie. Yeah. Listen, man, you could stick me up here. And even if there's no internet... You still have electricity. You still have electricity. I feel like I'd spend all my time playing, like... My backlog of games. Right? Because even if- even if you can't, like, use the computer for it, you can still bring, like, handhelds up. I don't have to feel it first? Maybe I can try and feel it? It said no video games. Yeah, but on the computer! It said that on the computer! It doesn't mean I can't use, like, a fucking Game Boy Color or some shit. Hmm. Yeah, no games on the system! Inbound. I daydream about how good this job would be. Can I not fuel this generator? The door was open. And then it was closed. I bought something around 333! Why do these mountains make people laugh? Because they're... You're a goober. I'm Dirty Day on the $10. Hey, Pippa, it's my sister Haley's birthday, and she'd appreciate it if you sing her happy birthday. P.S. Yeah, she's not really into VTubers, but she thinks you're pretty too. Well. Well, Haley. Oh, that's my own footsteps. Happy birthday to you. Happy. I'm going to see a face in that window. I just know it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Haley. Oh, we don't have any wood in the fire. We need to... we need to get some wood. We need to get some wood. Yep. Is this... Is this off or is this bear spray? Bear spray. Okay. Hmm. I just know there's gonna be a face over here. I just know. I just know. What's downstairs? God damn it. In the shed. Are all the windows boarded up if you're supposed to be watching for fires? They're just covered. We can we can uncover them. Wrong password! I thought it said it would be our thing. Radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. Osborne Fire Founder. It's like a giant compass size of a pizza. Oh, iron bark and then tower number. Iron Bark 11. The password is password. Hey, it's not Windows. No, it's Rainbow 98. It's very different. Hello. Oh. Hello there. It's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer day. Good evening, Tower 11. How is your day going? Oh, you guys can't even see Smiley. Clickety click! Here's a random fact for you! The Grand Canyon in the United States is not only breathtaking, but also incredibly old! It's estimated to be around six million years old! Clickety click! Here's a random fact for you! The world's tallest mountain! Oh, Mount Everest!
universe. The world's tallest mountain continues to grow about a quarter of an inch, 0 0.6 centimeters taller each year due to tectonic plate movements. Clickety-click, there's a random fact for you. Antarctica is the windiest continent on Earth, with some coastal areas experiencing winds reaching speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. How can I make your day better? What's on your mind today? Alright, now it's just repeating. Flash drive media games! Games! And we are back. Oops. Just move back over here. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Fascinating. What do you do for a living? Uh-huh. Yeah. How does that work? I think the last wow. the last station employee was kind of a hippie. Everyone's been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? <sighs> sir. Sir, there's no need for that language. Oh my god. Sir, calm down. Oh my god. What did you just say? What the fuck? Nobody talks to me like that on my show. You should knock him off what of the, the surface. What did you just say? Break his... Break, break, break the plot. Here, you piece of shit. Trim the roots. Trim his roots. Are, are you allowed to use this music in, a, in the game? I don't think you're allowed to use that music. Hi, everyone. I'm Ron Ross, and I'm here to paint with you. Today, I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. It reminds me of my wife. I love my wife. I love anyway, my wife's testicles. Water there. Time to switch brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's my needle. I'll save that for later. Oh, ah, there it is. The basting brush. This brush is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. This is where I buried the bodies. You know what? What bodies? Here, a nice, happy cabin, right there. Okay. It reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife, uh, with a squirrel. With a you squirrel. Me. Risu. Let's read some fan mail. Sent in by you guys. Eviction notice. Oh no. Forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. That's nuts. Yeah, one could say that was pretty... testicular. I subverted your expectations. Are you impressed? What am I watching? Well, that was an experience! Ain't ever fucking snooping on somebody's PC ever again. What the fuck was that? Plague Donny XE. Said no games on the system! Looks like you're ready to take on some zombies and have a blast! Good luck and aim for the head! Whoa! Oh my god! Oh shit! Do I have a specific amount of ammo or anything? Oh god. Oh lord. Oh god. Oh god. I didn't expect this.
Should I should I kill a certain amount of them or anything? Headshot. I guess they're all back that way. Finally, some real fucking gameplay. Oops. 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 There we go. Secret tunnel! That leads to a fork in the road. That leads to more stuff. Whoa. Oh dear. Oh dear. I like how... Oh! Am I looking for anything in particular here? Is there gonna be like, secrets or something? I wonder? Getting some killing floor vibes? I like how it actually makes like little clacky sounds on the... on the computer. I might be doing circles. Oh! Ah! I hear him behind me! Wait, this is where I came from! Ah! 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 Oh my god! Why is my aim so bad? Why is my aim so bad? Why is my aim... There we go. Good aim, Pippa. This is all there is? So there's nothing, like, fancy or anything? Oh my god, there's so many of them! How do I aim where there's, like, none of them? Like, I'm not even, like, accidentally hitting something else. I'm just, I'm just hitting nothing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. I'm such an asshole. They were like, when you get to the tower, make sure to clock in so we know you got there safe. And I'm like, uh... You know how it said on the board not to not to play video games on the computer? I'm gonna play video games on the computer. No, not only am I not gonna clock in, but also I'm gonna do that one thing that it told me not to do. Specifically. Not only do I do... Not only do I not do what you ask me to do, but I do what you don't ask me. What you ask me not to... Fuck. You know, I wish I could speak English. Fellas, someday I'm gonna learn how to speak English. And it's gonna be fantastic. When, when I learn to speak English, the world is gonna be my oyster. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna move to Medford. Right in between the, the Barnes and Noble and the Toys R Us. Actually, the Toys R Us probably doesn't exist anymore. That Toys R Us probably doesn't exist anymore. Whoa, health. I guess I'm going the right way. Let's go up, maybe? Oh, man. So you're ESL then? No. I'm just differently abled. It's okay, Barnes & Noble has just become a toy store anyways. It kind of has. Like, it's kind of hypocritical of me to, like, complain about it because sometimes I go into Barnes & Noble and all I get is, like, a fucking, like, gachapon. Or, like, a seal. Or whatever the fuck. Oh god, my leg's falling asleep. Rage! Kevin Delaney, thank you for Hey, Pepsi, did you do anything fun for Halloween? Also, what's your favorite candy? You know, I have done literally nothing Halloween related for the Halloween season other than play horror games. I have... done less this year than I did last year. Despite being in a better place this year. I'm actually kind of disappointed. Because it's like I had all these ideas like, oh, I want to go do this and I want to go do that and I want to go do this and I want to go do that. And then I, I just... I don't know, chat. I'm just really good at holding myself up and not doing anything. You know? That's, that's my talent. What is this? This looks like it should be able to be accessed. Oh my god, my leg. It's like the time slips away. So easily. And... You just... I don't know. I've never had, like, that drive to go out and do things that, like... It feels like some other people have. Like, people in my family... Would be like, oh, well, don't you want to go do this? Or don't you want to go do that? Or, oh, we're already here, don't you want to go do this? And it's like, you know... I... I'm kind of just content existing. 
Let's go crap thing in dollars. Remember to get candy for trick or treaters. I got candy and Pokemon cards for trick or treaters. If I get me, if I get me trick or treaters. Same. We love that you exist. Oh, thank you. Drive in this economy. I'm doing circles. Um. I'm very good at doing circles. It has a cool house. Did you decorate at least? Nope. Which is something I wanted to do. I wanted to decorate. I was like, oh, you know, I I can I can buy some Halloween decorations and I can put up some decorations and 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 like I'm gonna I'm gonna like I even I even I even went to the hardware store and found some decorations and. And then I just didn't end up buying anything. And I didn't end up decorating. And I just don't know why. Because I wanted to. But I just... The time slips by and... I don't know. It's not too late. It's pretty late. Stores don't have decorations anymore. It's sad. As far as I went to, did. Ah! 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 You gotta go to, like, Home Depot and stuff, because they have, like, um... They have, like, the big inflatable stuff. Practicing the doesn't want trick or treat trade! I have chicken and pizza! Oh my goodness. Um, after crafting, do I remember to get candy? Oh, I already read that. That felt thing or the two dollars candy mukbang. I could do like a candy eating stream or something. It'd be kind of ironic with all the dental issues I have to do a candy eating stream, but I guess it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Dollar Tree always has holiday decorations. Yee. Inflatable decorations kind of suck though. I've always wanted them. I've always wanted to have like the giant decorations and stuff. I'm trying to think there's no real point to this. Fellas, I'm starting to think... This game. Do I need to, like, get a certain amount of points to unlock, like, the floorboards or something? Shit. Shit. Oh, God! It's just a time waster. Oh, it's pointless? Okay. It's just killing zombies. You need 500 points for the Chibo? Ah, oh, fuck! <sighs> so if I just went a little longer. Can I boot it back up? No. God damn it. They got Kiersa too? God damn it. I haven't done anything, Dolores. You... Wait. You and FaZe Gals could stream making decor? Making decor? I got 500 points, did I? Did I? Hold on, I'm about to do some cool hacker shit. Or not. Um... What's the other one? What's the other one? Like, sysadmin or something? What's... Hmm. Nothing. Fellas. Fellas. Hmm. Nothing? For command information, type help. Oh. Check up date. Check version. Version 2.0.7. Update. Exit. That's boring. Hmm. Here's a map. 
This is the Iron Bark State... Wait, Iron Bark State tr Park Trail Map. Whether you're planning a hike, assisting hikers, or just want to explore the park's beauty from the comfort of your screen, I'm here to help! Huh. Oh. Mount Misery! Whoa, the misery! Everybody wants to be... Um, service reporting? Welcome to the state-of-the-art service report... Fellas, I think I wasted too much time fucking around. New guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Hmm. Who is Connor, this? Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. You were watching? You the job, but had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise? Wait, when did we get voice acting? I'm really you tired. Fire going? You got fire going. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it, thanks. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Bro, you're so fucking nagging! What the fuck? Why are you nagging me so much? The wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. I never even told the guy that I got here. <laughs> 69. Wind speed. 420. 420. Weather condition. Through sandstorm, number of hikers assisted. Uh, fucking. Uh, 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 I need more meme numbers, but the only other ones I can think of are offensive. Um, shit. <laughs> Boobs. Uh, reported by uh, Captain Dick and Balls. Dick and Dick and Bauer. Something didn't look right. Oops. Oh wait, what's in the trash can? Nothing. What if I delete the game? I can't, never mind. Okay, that beeping's gonna drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, jack me off. <laughs> oh, there's the other guy. Um, we need wood. Bro, there's no wood. <laughs> uh oh. Well, we can just use this. We can just we can just dump some gasoline in that bitch. Hold on. Gotta get wood. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Where'd my matches go? It's not letting me light anymore! It's not letting me light anymore! No! God damn it. Now it just looks like I pissed on the floor. Why did the music pick up? Broke it. It won't let me go down! Unless you keep some firewood up here? No? Yeah, scare, scare. Well, you did piss on the floor. Yeah, but that was earlier. Oh dear. I think I might have broken it! Um... It's a shed at the bottom of the tower. Yeah, but it won't let me go down. It won't let me... It won't let me go downstairs. I'll have to answer the beeping radio progress. 
Oh! There's no firewood. firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? Snapper, who was in the lookout before you. She was... one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Okay. I'm not going down without the bear spray. One gas fire. Grab everything. Wait, but I'm gonna have to leave one of these things. Oh wow. Wow, it's windy. Good idea. The axe? You think I need to chop the firewood? You don't think he already chopped that shit? No more beeping, yay! I'm so fucking scared of the dark, bros. God damn it. Same. We know. I remember when I was younger, I had this one Bakugan that I used to carry around in my pocket, and uh, I said when I when I had it in my pocket, I wasn't allowed to be scared of the dark because it was darkest Harpus. And if I had darkest Harpus, then how could I be scared of the dark? Because she's darkest Harpus. Like she's she's darkest aligned. So like that means like 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 I have like control over darkness. And so as long as I had darkest Harpus in my pocket, I was fine. And that's the only Bakugan I kept. I I got rid of most of my Bakugan. Um, at a yard sale. I was trying to, I was trying to... Oh no. Okay, now what? I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? The wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Uh, uh oh. Did you lose her? No! No, I have her- I have her in one of my... Um... One of- one of my- one of my, like, boxes. Maybe pick up one of the lit matches? Can I do that? I don't think I can do that. I think I saw another box of matches in the shed. Fuel? I already put fuel on her. I already put a wonder fuel on her. Most intelligent VTuber. But the shed has matches, does it? What's Dario's in here? $20 dues. Corvallis to Newport in 26 minutes at 2 a.m. on motorcycle. Mary's Peak is cool. Uh, would hike Bald Peak at night with my ex and sing songs in the darkness. You're crazy. You're crazy. Newport has good food, though. I swear, I think the... Become a big baby. If I'm on vacation, I'll leave you... Oh, I'll see you in a month! Have fun the stream in the meantime! Oh, thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you! Well, listen, I think of my daughter's Pippa, you are the cutest bunny. Thank you, thank you. Where are you going on vacation, also? I will. Don't delay anything. It was $2. Mortuary is a system win? That game looked dumb. What if I waste all these matches, too? Oh, I didn't come to me. Hi there, people. Can you say hi to my friend Ento? Hi, Ento. Did you see it? Did I miss something? Newport has some good food and... And Newport has, like, the really cool docks where you can get, like... There we go. Damn it. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. You can get, like, fresh salmon and stuff for really cheap in Newport. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? Docks? Like... Like, it has, like, ship docks. Ooh, Tila thing, Dolores. Wow, my favorite is... Hell's Harpus. Harpus Love. Harpus Love. Did you report for the night yet? Better get to it then. No, let me get to You're it. You're Ironbark. You are required to report every night before signing off. 
You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Mitch is kind of a bitch. Service reporting. Hmm. So I need to check the temperature and the wind speed. The weather condition? Is this kind of windy? I haven't actually helped any hikers. Uh, I don't know my name. Kevin Delaney, think of Newport, new port, home of the menthol cigarette. I don't think, I don't think it actually is. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? The wood stove should be around the edge. Um, I did light it actually. Zinc Carling can be, bro, it's been two years. You still break games just by touching them and it's been fun ride chicken pizza. By the way, AB is asleep post, wait, what? My name is Peppa. No, I forgot my name on the thing. Okay, so we need to know the temperature and the wind speeds. So... Wind speed. Is... 17 knots. And what do we use for temperature? What are we meant to use for temperature? Put your flashlight down. No. I guess maybe I should. I guess maybe we don't need a flashlight for everything. A thermometer? Well, yeah, but where is it? We have binoculars, a compass, a radio, cans, cookware. Gasoline. Hmm. On the wall? Oh. I'm what you would call a not very intelligent individual. Okay, what is that? Like... 45 degrees? And what was our name? I just put Pippa. Was our name Jack? What was our name, dude? It is Jack. Is it not windy? What what did I what did I get wrong? 2D lighting is bugged again, is it? Oh, there we go. Jack Mihoff, your tower number 11. Oh. Do I put 11? No, it won't let me type numbers. It doesn't let me type numbers. Oh, is that right? Just super bright sometimes? Sorry. Does it want... 40? 43? 42? What does it want? Cloudy? Um... Clear? What, is, what the fuck does it want? What the fuck does it want? I do with a chance of meatballs. Have to be exact. I don't know. It's cloudy and windy. Fog? Didn't the guy say it was going to storm? Thunderstorm? Cloud? Rain? Clear? Rose, I don't... I don't understand. I don't understand. Click the thermostat. 44.3! My bad. My fucking bad. I'm sorry I rounded to fucking 45. God forbid. 
What do you mean not the right weather condition? Cloud? It is not clear skies, dude. That, that is not clear skies. Right here. Sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night. Over and out. I'm trying to- I'm trying to play cool and aloof. Oh, the lighting is so comfy. I can't wait to go to bed with my- with my- my snuggle buddy. This burning lit match. I she doesn't use exact measurements. I'm causing I want, uh, two dollars. Any plans on clubbing with Numi? You're impressive. With Numi? I hadn't... ever thought about it, but I wouldn't mind. It's just like me. Bro, you're having sleep paralysis. Just go back to bed. <laughs> God, I already trashed this place. Holy shit. I had to pee. Connor? Nothing? Okay. Come for shed bed. Oh, I left my I left my bear spray downstairs. But thankfully it came back to me. Thank you, forest goblins. I'll get in trouble if I have the light on after midnight, right? On my first night being out of the cabin gave me a strange feeling. So this is what guys do. So this is what it's like to be a man. Don't mind me, just... You know... Marking my territory. Just marking my territory. You guys can't see it because there's an overlay, but you know, there's a, there's a very detailed little poly penis on screen. The wolves are saying thank you. You're welcome. Why can't I lock this door? Back to bed. Let me just... No, nope, spray it down first. Give it a nice aroma. <laughs> ah! Oh, wow, that's beautiful. That's my homie over there, Connor. What's up, Connor? You can see me nodding, right, Connor? Wow. Yeah. It's a beautiful view. Got birds and shit. And fucking clouds. Sunset. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Make sure you clean it, Pippa. Let me just... Let me sip my coffee in real life, too. Splashy noodles and your $10. Pippa, thank you for giving me a good laugh. We're trying to deal with the stress of starting college in a few weeks. Makes it easier to get through the day. Oh, you're gonna kick college's ass. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. And take a photo. Now my homie Connor. Just zoom in as much as possible. Nom 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 nom. Fugu thing doors. Nice state issued goon shack. Thank you. You got this, bro. Mm -hmm. Another picture. Am I gonna say something scary? Something unpleasant? Like a citizen of Roseburg? Hope I don't see one of those. Did you see it? It's a tree. Connor's a tulpa? Yeah, that's my tulpa running the other tower. My Connor tulpa. Yeah. I named it Connor after. Are there any famous people named Connor? I was gonna name like a celebrity or something, but... It was gonna be- it was gonna be a Gale. 
skit. I was gonna be like, I was gonna be like, I'm Gail. And this is my, this is my celebrity tulpa. That I, oh, the sea dog VA. Yeah, it's my sea dog VA tulpa. Does it really work well for Connor McGregor? There we go. It's my Connor McGregor tulpa. I left my husband and moved out to, uh, fucking Roseburg with my tulpa. And now I'm writing a book series about Connor McGregor. One day. One day he'll respond to my emails, but he's, he's too busy. He's too busy running the tower. Connor from Assassin's Creed 3? I don't like Connor from Assassin's Creed 3. Connor from Assassin's Creed 3 was cringe. Yeah. It's my Brett Spiner. Connor McGregor. Hey guy. You copy? Yeah, I just took pictures of you. And I have several copies. This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? You're kind of demanding. I don't really like it when you nag me. Tower 11, do you copy? I'm right here. Son of a bitch. What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Who the fuck gets a camping permit? Dude, do city slickers really? Do city slickers really? What do you mean a camping permit, dude? Oh my god. Camping permit's not based. That is not based. Holy fuck. Let me have a look. Which fucking way is north? I don't know. Oh, I guess that way's north. The smoke is white, indicative of a campfire. Do you see that smoke up north? Connor, you are really fucking annoying. Yes, I see the smoke. White smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. The lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Oh. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Uh, I can say, okay, I'm heading north. I'll report back on it. Yes, do you have any other detail, or is it safe? Well, I don't care if it's safe. I'm heading it's out. safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. It's Oregon. You should have bear spray in your car 24-7 anyways. Fuck this coffee cup. Hold on. Here you go. Here you go, wolves. Next time I piss off the balcony, you have something to drink it out of. It's like an old... English times, how they used to have, like, the little... They used to have, like, these little spigots that you would walk up to, and you would knock on the door, and you'd pay them a fucking farthing or whatever the hell. And they would, they would, they would... drip ale out of the... out of the spigot. And that's, that's what's gonna happen. But it's, the spigot is my penis, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna... pee off the side of the thing, and you're gonna, you're gonna hold your cup up, just like the British did. But they weren't drinking piss, they were drinking... Just piss flavored ale. Presumably. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways. Pippa. Yeah. <laughs> flashlight! Oh, my flashlight! Thank you for reminding me! Thank you for reminding me. I need my flashlight. <laughs> These are definitely words, Pippa saying. <laughs> what is bro waffling on about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I like how my matches stayed, but everything else gets like rearranged. Flashlight, Doko. Flashlight. Hope I just go back to bed. I can't. Where did I throw my fucking flashlight? Pippa, are you okay? Listen, buddy. Yes. It was a close call. I was I was one I was one slip up away from a depressive episode, but don't worry, the, the cinema roll build a bear three foot tall plush came in clutch. And I'm fine. Where's my fucking flashlight? You're having fun at least. I am. Where's wh does anyone know where I put my flashlight? You threw it to the right side of the bed. Right side when I'm facing the bed, or right side when I'm coming out of the bed? The fellas, I do not see my flashlight. Turn lights on? That's not helping. 
It's in the utility shed. Near the computer side? You're right, my left. <laughs> ah! No, oh, I'm so smart. I put it on the table where it belongs. Let's leave the light on so the demon goes after my outlaw out, 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 outpost instead of me. Big brain. I'm so big brain. I think it's over yonder. Only chumps need a flashlight in the woods. It's me. I'm chumps. I need a flashlight. Oh my god. What if I don't exist? What if actually I'm the tulpa? Am I Connor's tulpa? Is this the right way? Hmm. The forest goblins took the flashlight in exchange for the pepper spray. Lacey trails this way. Oh no! Bears and shit! Oh no! Twisting electricity? In Oregon? Yep, you know it. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. They're just telling scary stories at the campfire, nothing to be scared of. No camping! Violators will be sighted and moved! I heart Jen, she gives me the best head. Okay. Hello? I'm here looking for a lady named Jen. What, bitch? You're so fucking needy. Okay, reply back when you see this. What is the whistling? I'm sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector has very good service. View from my tower. And thanks for the recipe my try tonight. Emergency closer. Tail obstructed. I hear footsteps. Hmm. Hour 11. Hmm. This is a cute little setup they got going. Oh, they're ghost hunting! That's an EMF reader and a spirit box. Your tent is now my tent. Good night. It's time for sleepies. Or not. I had to put it out. I'll put it out with my bear spray. I had to get water to put it out. Is that a motherfucking phasmophobia reference? I found the ghost. It was possessing the pot that I'm holding. move. I feel like it'd be better to leave the fire going while I find the people. Am I crazy? Because this is gonna scare them. Step out here. Show yourself. Oh, they drew one of those cool S's. The area beyond that site was closed. This is so cringe. Go camping in the real woods. Idiots. I decided I'd fuck off from here. Leave the dumb kids to get killed. Or whatever the fuck. Crazy, they called me crazy once. Max Angel Singer Dolores, is this Firewatch? No, there's actual gameplay to this. Real woods with the windigos. Survival of the finished. Hmm. I'll talk to the dog. I think we're two dollars. A helicopter so you don't drip. A helicopter so I don't drip. Like with your penis. Who's out there? 
Come here. Come here. Come here, moron. Come here. I'm gonna spray your ass with fucking bear spray, you fucking moron. Is that Jen? Julia think I'm picked the bee. Just got 3.33 margin today. Papa, my sister thinks slip and slippers are cute. Hell yeah! As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Aww. I want a pair of slipkin slippers. I, so, I more so want the blanket. I think it'd be really fun to bundle up in the blanket while I stream. It'd be my streaming blanket. Hmm. Did you not order it? No, I didn't order my own merch! I get it for free! What the fuck do you mean? Yeah, let me- let me give Fishman money! So he can give me the merch! And then also give me a small percentage of that money back! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, let's go! Should I stop by the utility shack for more firewood, maybe? Is my fire still going? Stonks! Now, Fishman! Fishman is cool. It gives me, like, all the merch for free. I've got so much Face Connect merch now. Like, he sent a bunch of Face Connect merch to me. And now I have, like, I have, like, merch of literally everybody. I have so much fucking merch. I just, I just used the Tenma shot glasses the other day. I had me some moonshine in my tin my shot glasses. I was very disappointed. I forgot to refrigerate my banana pudding moonshine. And I didn't trust it after leaving it out. Connor, do you copy? Hey, Connor. Well, I'm clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? I tell him about the campsite. Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? Who are you talking about? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. This is the third time this month alone. Oh my god, Connor, you talk a lot without answering any questions. Anything else you notice in those woods? Mention scream. scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. Actually, it was a manly scream, but I won't assume gender. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately. Kids. kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with those campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. I love Ente! That's like one of my favorite of the three legendary dogs. But actually they're all my favorite because I love the legendary dogs from Pokemon. But I think if I had to pick a favorite between Entei, Raikou, and Suikun, I would probably pick Raikou. CBBC tag thing with the two dollars. Will the slippers ever come back? I don't know. I feel better than five dollars. Did Fishman send you the Whammy Ducky? Um... And will he send you the Leah mouse pad? Uh, probably eventually. I got the Whammy Ducky. Well, people have... Oh. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. People are so fucking bored in Oregon, there's nothing to do, man. I don't blame them. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11. Urgently. Glad to be of service. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Yeah, th no gooners allowed. Not in my goon cave. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Over and out. Over and out. We need anything about five dollars. My first time was just... Hold on, I gotta wait for that to pop back up. Bedtime! I was too hungry. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Oh. I'm delivered. I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look at what I got home to! So, Kayla. I see there's... two bottles of beer. 
A beer can set out? I see multiple sets of silverware? Kayla, do you have something you'd like to tell me? Or maybe... Someone you'd like to tell me about? Kayla? Pizza pasta bake. Ingredients, uncooked pasta, marinara sauce. What kind of pasta? <laughs> what kind of pasta, actually? Marinara sauce. Pepperoni. Mozzarella cheese. Diced tomatoes. Bake all ingredients in casserole. Bake at 420 degrees. Enjoy. Wait, bake for 35 to 40 minutes. Enjoy. Oh, mom made the same casserole recipe today. Oh, okay. It's our mother. She's cheating on me with. Nom nom. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at those photos makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. Bitch. Nope, okay. It's... can we... there we go. I'm very good at putting stuff away. At this point, I was starving. I had to get all the ingredients Kayla's recipe asked for. I had to find the pepperoni. The normal one. I don't... I don't know where to find the pepperoni. Oh, there we go. There's the pasta. It's a pasta, put it in a casserole dish. Oh, music. I had a feeling I was still missing something. Ham. I wasn't sure what went in. I had to check the ingredients list. Marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. So I put the ham in the microwave. Because I like the smell of ham. When it's in the microwave. And then I turned it on. And the game didn't have sound effects for it, but it went... Beep! 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 beep. And then I took the ham out, and it was all like hot and steamy, and it smelled really good. Ham smells fucking delicious for some reason. I need to check the ingredients list again. Why do you... Just give me the pepperoni. Give me the pepperoni. The normal one. Oh my god. Give me the pepperoni. Can I just do this in infinitely? Marinara. Pepperoni. What am I missing? Oh yeah, diced tomatoes. It's cold in here. There must be some totals in the atmosphere. You guys remember that movie? It was a good movie. Or at least I thought it was good when I was a kid anyways. I don't know if it's actually good. I don't know if it's actually good. Hey guys, you there? No, that scared me a bit. It's headed to 420. Hey guys, you Connor, quit nagging me! You're really annoying! Wow, couldn't deal with them yourself, you little bitch. What'd they say? Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. That's relieving. We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. That's the duty I chose. I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? I forgot. Better get to it. Mitch didn't sound to be in a very good mood today. Hmm. I'm really tired. Go over 12, signing off. Go over and out. Good night, Connor. Hmm. I'm giving like the worst responses to everything. Colonel Saxon, thank you for the $2. You fool, he's trying to warehouse your house. I think he is. I think Shotgun is trying to turn my house into a warehouse. Well, nothing else to do. Better play with the lights. Ah, living the dream. This is a life, chat. Living up in the tower. Fucking with the lights. 
Ah. I'm at peace. Phoenix, thank you for the five dollars. Connor is like a Discord mod, but for the forest. Brandon, thank you for the dollars. As a fan of Bismarck, please Google Fire Run My Ship Oshi. Oh, <laughs> my eyes! Oh, uh, seizure warning, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess I should sign in. Um, we need temperature and wind speed and weather condition. <laughs> Thanks for that, you're welcome. 47.7. 47. Oh, I didn't type. 47.7? Um, it auto set to clouds. I don't know if it's actually gonna count as cloudy. Like, <laughs> I'm dying right now. I suck to suck, idiot. And it's 20 knots. I'll eat and cook that later. I'll eat it after I cook it. As in, I'll, I'll throw it up and then I'll... ...cook it. After I eat it. And 20 knots. You're golden, I'm big baby! If only I had... If only I had epilepsy! Oh wait, thanks, Peppers. You're welcome. How many hikers did I assist? Uh, I'm thinking three. I think we need to pad out the report a bit. No, oh, yeah. There we go. And there's Connor! Ah! What a little goody two-shoes! What a goody little goody two-shoes! Checked in six minutes before me! Hmm. Hey, I set mine to cloudy. Why does it say clear? Why does it say clear? I like how I just lied and then just accepted it. Hmm. Ding ding. I just remember the smell of the fresh sizzling cheese. I liked eating in bed with the oven open because it made the whole room smell like the stuff that I cooked. And also, it provides a little bit of extra heat. Num 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 num. I'm gonna mute the game because I can't handle eating noises. Sorry. Sorry to ruin your guys' emergent, but I can't- I can't handle it. It- it, it genuinely pisses me off. It- it actually puts me in a really fucking bad mood. Excellent, with the noise. Oregon native here. I also thought- Oh, I was already full. I also thought it was boring here too until I spent a year in Sierra Vista, Arizona. That was real boredom. Then again, I'm a hickey. Also, there's a town literally named Boring here. There is. There is. There's a town called Boring. And there's the town of Astoria, which is where they filmed the Goonies. I should have kept it in the refrigerator. But all the other shit I left out on the floor. It was getting cold. Thought I'd get the wood stove lit. I should have fucking brought one up here with me. The music is so ominous. Not Sierra Vista. There's a town called Hell, too? In Oregon? There's Hell, Oregon? But the entire state is Hell. I should have brought some bear spray down here with me. And then the goblins would have magically returned it to my... ...bedside later. You guys can't see the subtitles, so you have no idea what's real dialogue and what's not. Oh, Hell is in Michigan. I hear whistling. I was a scared little bitch of the whistling, so I'm gonna run up to the fucking top of the cabin. Cause I don't fuck with that shit. Emma, please give a warning first. About what? This music is so good. Oh yeah, wood. Stove. Bada boom! Oh, I need gasoline. What do I need gasoline? Boom! Fuck. There we go. Uh, what's the matter? You don't know how to use kindling? Nighty night. I'm gonna sleep with the flashlight. 
I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. Fuck. I'm taking the bear spray with me. <laughs> I'm, taking, I'm taking the fucking bear spray. How do I... There we go. There we go. Oh god. Sounds like Pippa's old stream music. I also like the... Sleeping with the light on. Did you see it? Did I miss something? Read anything with a ten dollar news? God damn it, rabbit! Apparently five dollars was enough to make you read. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to miss it. Um. I missed the dialogue. Hey, Peepa, what's your favorite Weezer album? You think I know the name of Weezer albums? I think I heard Lisa talk about Pinkerton one time on stream. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, the blue album? Name a color. Something was very strange about that night. Where's my fucking bear spray? You better not fucking come in here. out the windows. I can't. They're all boarded up. He was standing outside this window. Keep your rifle by your side. He was in here for his nerds in the maze. He's right behind you. Oh boy. Jesus Christ, this game plays on like my actual fucking fears. Holy shit. God damn. So if, it if it isn't clear by now, um, I did used to live in Oregon at one point. And used to go out into the woods and stuff a lot. And used to. I was never like a park ranger or anything, but... I used to live out in the boonies and stuff. And you really do hear a lot of weird noises and shit. I remember one time... I went out onto the... I went onto the back porch. And heard what sounded like my mom calling my name. But she was... I think she was either like in the living room... Or in the bedroom? Like, I know she was in the house. She wasn't- she wasn't outside. And, uh... Another time... Another time... Um... I've told this story a lot, but one of the houses that I lived at... Was in, like, this really bad area. And... 
there was this there was one of the drug addicts up the road that would come to our house and like he like scratched on the door for like half an hour and me and mama Kim, we just ignored it because we thought it was like a cat or something there's a lot of stray cats around and then when she opened the door he was like standing there with his dick out and he was asking for milk and stuff and later um i can't remember how much later but after that incident, he, uh... Him or one of his brothers or some shit, I don't remember. Face as well. Um... Ended up... Breaking into our house. Running from... His other brother. Who was... Chasing him around with a... With a rifle. And those two also killed their mother. They killed her, and they left her body in a car and set it on fire. Over, like, a drug dispute. Holy shit. Yeah. Back to bed. I had to talk to Connor. What do you mean, hide? Oh, oh. oh. There's a volume meter. There's a volume meter. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Wake up. I need to talk to its urgent. Hello. There's something outside my door. I don't think these kids are messing around. This is serious. You don't understand, do you? You're a fucking asshole, Connor. Connor didn't make any sense. But there's not much else I could have done in the dark. That's not locking! How do I lock it? The strange noises in Oregon are just the homeless crackheads escaping from Portland. True. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it was a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. Getting Mike Tyson's ass for the pee pee Thank you, thank you. Oh, what? I occupied most of my days either with simple maintenance in or around the tower, or by scanning the density of trees around me. Yo, clean your fucking binoculars, dude. My paranoia for these woods only grew after the last night, which led me to be extra vigilant going forward. Oh my. There we go. There we go. What? Wait, that's a flare! Somebody needs help! Literally me, then come big pee Hello? Is anyone there? Uh, I need help! Huh? Please, someone answer. I didn't feel comfortable facing my back to an open door. Oops. Also, I didn't feel like responding to the emergency alert, so I decided to play some games instead. I, 
figured this was a better use of my time than helping some punk kids. Okay, never mind. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, we'll help him. We'll help him. Sorry. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Who is this? Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's going on? I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. Is there a thing you're the one dollar? I think... I think I'm lost. What equipment do you have a with you? A compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. Can you describe your clothing? A red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. And what is uh, your current location? I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Whoa! You're out in the fucking woods, and there's trees around you? Fuck, man! That's crazy! Now, how about you tell me if there's some fucking signs around you or some shit, all right, dipshit? I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. You're a pussy-ass bitch. What direction are you facing I'm right now? West right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Okay, well, use your fucking compass. What well, use use your compass? Use your compass. I I remember passing a small stream earlier. Oh, thank goodness, I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Hold on, let me check. What is this music? I don't know if I should... Uh, hello? Huh? Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. I don't think I should lead him. I don't think I should lead him back to my tower. He's at an intersection? It's a trap? What am I fucking hearing? I'm gonna make a poll. This one's on you guys to decide. This one, this one is on you guys to decide. Which way? Do we tell him to go to the right or to the left? Hold on. He's at, he's at an intersection. And he was heading west? Right? So, I... Is he here? Wait. Uh, hello? Oh my god, shut up. You mentioned a small stream. Uh, are both of the, uh, I'm just... You mentioned a small stream. Okay, so there's Gold Creek. Is he... Is he here? You saw his flare? I... Is he here or is he here? What direction was the flare in? Just past the stream? There's a road. Are you sure? That's not a road, chat. This is... This is a stream. The road is over here. This is the road. And these are trails. Ignore him. Play with matches. Yeah, the dotted lines are trails. The thick lines, these are like streams or rivers. He's outside your tower. 
And he is at an intersection where the trail branches off into two different directions. So I think if we tell him to go left, he's going this way towards like the old radio tower. And if he goes right, he's coming to our tower. He's in the woods though. He said he's on a trail. He said he's going east though, not south. He didn't say he's going west. Okay, so left... Wait, th this has to be him then, right? West would lead him to the tower here? Or it could lead him to Pygon Pass? He's going to the road. Wait. He's coming out of the trees. I'm so bad at this, dude. What direction did you see the flare from? Fuck. I don't remember. Was it- it was this way, right? Because I came back inside. Compass? Compass? I cannot read you, Compass! Does this not say east or west or anything on it? No, oh, fuck. This is north, right? This way's north. Wait, so he's coming from the north. The flare was from the north. Shit, I couldn't read it! Arrow points north. Flare is north of me. Anyone a digital circus fan? I don't know what that is. Dang this, how do they work? Shut up. Compass is always pointing north. Yeah, but like the, the fucking numbers! He's dead by now. He's at Lacey Trail. This is north. But he said he was. No, oh, fuck. I don't remember what he said. He said it was coming east? My brain is getting fried, Chet! My brain is getting fried! I'm panicking! Not gonna lie, this is rough to watch. Then click off! Just tell him left. He stopped talking, he's dead. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? He wanted west, but now he's going east. Okay, okay, my logic is... My logic is... He's coming from north. It has to be this one. Because he passed by a stream. He wants to go west. He said he's going west. Uh, hello? Oh my god. Uh, he said he wants to go west, and he came from the east. This is the road. Chat made it 50-50. Oh my god. You're gonna lead a scared man to his death in the woods. Yes. Not my problem. Okay, Chad's saying right. We're leading him right. I'm sorry, what did you say about coming? Shut up! That's it, they went two dollars. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? I'm going to be honest. I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so, right one it is. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Making decisions in the dark can be challenging. You're welcome. Hope you reach back to the trailhead safely. We'll just say reach, uh, making decisions in the dark can be challenging. I'm right here! What do you, what? What do you mean right- I hear you! I don't feel 
feel comfortable. I... I hear your whistles. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought this man was about to kill me, but he's about to be killed. That's not me. I'm in my tower right now. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, no, what took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? <laughs> Nothing much. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Hmm. Hmm. What were you doing in there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I weren't screw around or out there, pal. I was required to investigate a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. That's the business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You better be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. Hmm. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? mention the skull. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. I'm turning the lighties back on. Closing this shit while while he's still around. I'm I'm closing I'm closing this up while he's still around. Many many crickets. Many many crickets. Do you still want to eat that hiker? No, we need wood. Oh no. Oh 
I'm still hungry to go to bed without food. Oh. Munch. The food was cold. My god, you're so whiny. Jesus Christ. Should I go get wood? What do you guys think? Hmm. Metal tray! Metal tray! It's a casserole dish. It's probably like ceramic. Actually, I don't think I can. Muting that! Where's the bathroom? It's called the balcony. I love cold pasta. Burning daylight, eh? So I'm done with my yummies. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Good time. Still had a report for the night. Let's go get the wood. And let's take the bear spray with us instead of the flashlight. If I can. Nope, I had a report the night before preparing for sleep. God damn it. Thank you, Peppa, for eating the muting. <laughs> that wasn't for you, that was for me. But you're welcome. Temperature, 54.5. It's getting warmer out. It's getting warmer out. 54.5? Oh. Um. Eating the muting. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. 23 knots. Oh, that's cool. It actually changes when you go back inside. 23 knots. Number of hikers assisted? One. Up a wind? Here we go. Oh, Connor hasn't reported in for the night. Should we nag him? I guess we can't. I'm surprised... ...he hasn't. Nighty night. Oh. I gotta go get wood. He's dead. Connor's dead. Connor's a goner. His lights are on. South there to see my gal singing Polly Polly Doodle all the day. Oh, I went to Louisiana and to see my Susie and I'm singing Polly Polly Doodle all day. Fairly well, pop pop, fairly well, pop pop, fairly well, my very May. Oh, I went to Louisiana and to see my Susie and I'm singing Polly Polly Doodle all the day. The oh, fuck. Fucking piece of shit, fucking asshole! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um... You just- you just about gave me a heart attack. Who are you? What are you doing here? Who are you? I didn't need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. I thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas Yellow. Silas Dot Yellow? Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reached the right places, wouldn't you agree? Right, we rely on information about fire sightings. I agree, fire risks are high this season. Yep, 
Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. What the fuck did he mean by this? Nature has its own plan. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. I mean, that's actually true. That's, that's actually true. Like, with, with forest fires and stuff, there's like pine cones and shit, especially like in the Pacific Northwest. Like, if it, if the forest don't burn, then like the pine cones and shit don't open up to like spread the seeds and shit. So, it, it's actually, like, he's, he's not wrong. Um. But this guy's weird. Elias, and Delars, your scream is what scared me as I looked away. <laughs> yeah, and it feeds the soil. It, it, it enriches the soil as well. Um. It clears up the forest floor. Wildfires are not always actually a bad thing. Vince, think of the 420. You sent the hiker straight to Bohemian Grove. Snack box, they 128. Quick, check wind speed. Uh, Aaron G, they went to Lawrence. Dead boy. Bongo Bingo Tango, they went to $2. Fun work, in fact, the town of Boring, Oregon has two sister cities. Dull Scotland and Bland, Australia. Side note, the only fun Oregon fact I know. Oh, okay. Um, fun Oregon fact. Um. What's a fun Oregon fact? Oh, fun organ fact! In Pacific City, there's this giant sand hill. And it's really cool. You can, like, run up and down the sand hill, and it's really tall, and they do, like, sandcastle building competitions there. And the dory boats come in on the on the beach there. It's really cool to watch. Um. I'll see you around, Silas. Have a good night, Jack! But hope you remember to sleep well. But remember... Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack! You're a freaky motherfucker. The guy gave out the creepiest vibes, which is why I decided to follow him into the woods. Never mind. I couldn't because I was being gated by a wall. Oh, dear. Yeah, I appreciate, appreciate the mild threats, pal! How did he know your name? We probably told him. Mitch probably told him. He probably checked in with Mitch at the front entrance and was like... Fuck! Got stuck on the door for a second there. Like, oh yeah, go up to Tower 11 and you'll probably see a guy around there. His name is Jack. Say hi to him for me. I would assume realistically, but because it's a horror game, it's probably actually part of the mystery. Like, oh my god, how did he know my name? There's smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. New guy. You there? Oh my god, you are so annoying. You copy now. Loud and clear. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran into Silas downstairs. Who? Nearby radio tower worker. The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower. What do you mean? Trying to yank my chain now. What do you mean? Radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair cost was deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. I don't know. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Yeah, me too. Well, signing off. Over and out. Good night. This is probably the last words I'll ever say to you, Connor. Do I actually have a camera or anything? Is this a mechanic that I can be taking advantage of? I kind of don't think it is. Next Angels, I once visited a dying small town in the Columbia Gorge called Malpin. 
Looked like a post-apocalyptic wasteland in some parts, especially this one spot with the crumpled remains of an electrical tower. You have a phone! Yeah, but I don't think I can, like, take pictures. Surprisingly. Oh dear. I took a picture of the tower. Yeah. Fun organ fact. Organ is home to an endangered flower known as the Great White Trillium. Trillium grandiflorum. And has conditions capable of supporting plants from all around the world. Yeah, especially weed. Out of weed farms out in Oregon. Hid away in the fucking woods. Along with the crazy camps. My knees was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness it'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. 9.18 p.m. Ah, the rain! You got a minute? What is it? Good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. What is it about? Well, they say they've optimized the reporting software, improved the communication system, and some much-needed security patches. If you ask, it all looks the same to my eyes. Well, I already know how to update. These computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system. Sure, a young man like you can figure it out. On it. I'm sure we do. Um. Help. And I guess we can just do update. Please update the. Enter the. P update package code. The what? The what? Um. Be eight? 3.0? Two point seven A two point seven B uh do, do I enter the current one? No. Oh check update to find out. Now it makes sense. Check up oops. Check up. There we go. Package version 2.1. Okay. Fuck. I'm not the most literate person. 2.1.1. <laughs> Bro! What do you mean? Oh! Four... Three, four, six, zero, eight, four. What? Oh, I wrote a five instead of a. Okay, three, four. Wait. Four, three, four, six, zero, eight, four. Bro, I can read numbers and shit, dude. I can, I can read numbers. Serviceable lines, busy lines, please enter an active line. What do you mean, line not, not available? Um... Five... Four... Eight... Seven? Oh, my wallpaper changed! Ow! Somehow I don't think updating was a good idea! Power was out. Motherfucker. I could not go back to sleep for some reason. And it won't let me grab my bear spray! Why can't I not grab my bear spray?
Jesus, Lord, Jer J Jerry, Joseph. <laughs> Please, Jesus, Lord, Jelly, and Joseph. What the fuck do I do? Where's my fucking flashlight? <laughs> ah! I don't know. Number one pipkin pipa fan thing from five doors. Why does it sound like you're playing as playing as sound like Andy from the coffin game? Cause he's literally me for real for real. Mm. <laughs> yes, the virgin cherry. Why did it say crouch? Before I went lazy and then the sea was easy and the sea and all I do all day. It wouldn't let me go downstairs. What do I need? What do I need? Gas can? But there was a gas can downstairs. In the shack. Courage? Listen, if I was actually brave, these streams wouldn't be as entertaining. If I wasn't scared of horror games, I wouldn't stream them, because that'd just be boring. Why are the trees moving? Well, there we go. I'm gonna get jump scared! This is the jump scare song! Gonna... Get... Jump scared! And it's gonna be miserable! I'm gonna go in the outhouse, and I'm gonna get locked inside! Life is meaningless! Why? The door is like partially see through for some reason. This is the jump scare song. I'm gonna get fucking jump scared. Something's gonna fucking chase me or not. Never mind. One week later. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check on Connor twice a day. Thought might have been the only that might have been the only time I ever talked. 
Unless I was talking to myself. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're gonna want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack? I need you to wake up. You copy? Copy that, Roger Rover. Uh, um, you didn't say your call sign! Jack, you copy. Why are you still okay, up? Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me have a look. Do I need my binoculars? Guess not. Bro! You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Connor, you're kind of a piece of shit pawning your fucking job off on me. Where? Oh, that's the smoke. God damn it. God damn it. It's in your sector. Arr. Arr. Oh man. Oh man. Commander Blazer, thank you for the $5. It's about tulpas. I don't know if you found answers after the stream died. I nurtured tulpas and many people! You can ask me anything. I answer based in psychology. No spiritual BS. I did not. Also, I guess tulpa guide super chatted during that stream, and I, I missed all of the super chats. But I, I saw... some of the stuff he sent. It's kind of funny. Would be fun to, like, interview him. I would be up for something like that. I haven't done an interview stream in a long time. What did he say? That he had security clearance! And federal agencies! And some other stuff. Binoculars time? Where the fuck is my flashlight? Where's my fucking flashlight? Oh, it's right there. But I can't grab it for some reason. That's not very digible. Hmm. I don't know if I want to go down there. Didn't feel safe going downstairs. So I didn't. Instead, I stayed inside. In fact, I hid under my bed. Oh, it doesn't matter even if I move it, because you guys can't see the... You can't see the little microphone thing. But when there's a white bar on screen, it's a little microphone meter. Oh, do your gerb, Pippa. Oh, it's time for the computers to take my gerb. Go downstairs and take a fish. Why can I not take my bear spray or my flashlight or anything? If I don't feel safe leaving, why can't I take this stuff? Welcome to Ironbark State Park. I'd rather if watch a training video. video. Then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks. This is fucking Jacksepticeye again. Is this motherfucking Jacksepticeye? In the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. 
This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You've been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire! Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. Na na my coworker NASA Otadane? So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to note whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Well, now that I stalled for as long as possible. Oh. 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 One out of ten audition video, I would never hire you. Pee pee poo poo. Ah. You hear anything 500 yen? I just tried out a water pick after you mentioned getting one. It feels good. How do I prevent it? How do I? How do I prevent getting drenched when I use it? That's a great question. The answer is you don't. <laughs> Sex to sack. I wish I could use. Wait, we haven't talked to Kayla in two weeks? Hmm. Down south, then to see my gal singing Polly Wally doodle all day. We can't go downstairs. It's not letting me go downstairs. I don't. I don't know what it wants me to do. I, I genuinely do not know what it wants me to do. I had to check the camp, but it won't let me go downstairs. And I can't... I can't grab anything. Binoculars! I can't... I can't grab the binoculars. Try the camera. How do I access the camera? It lets me grab that? Oh! Wait, now it lets me grab the bear spray. What the hell? Camera zoom? Turn on the lights. Now let's make grab the bear spray. Oh! Oh, there we go. There we go. Wait. Hold on. 
Oh no, I can only hold one at a time. Holy fuck. I didn't know what to make of it. Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. So how do I do that? How do I- how do I do that? Where's the camera? Where's the camera? Where's the camera? Camera through binoculars? I don't... I don't have a camera. My brother in Christ! Walk to the railing! But they're- bros, they're gonna look at me. Oh, fuck this. Oh, I went down south there to see my- <gasps> Fuck! 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 Fuck a duck. Okay. moment. It was not a bear. <gasps> I can't just, I can't just run. He's gonna chase me. I need to sneak up 
upon him and I need to take him out before he takes me out. It's the American way. It's what God intended. Look better than Gumpy Poopy. This wouldn't be a problem if I had a gun. Ah. Man. It's a game, Pippa. The stupid gun. Stupid game. I should have been- I should have had a gun. I should have been able to kill him. Okay. Sims rather than Boopy. There was an axe in the room and you took the bear spray. Can I pick up the axe? Where do you guys see the axe? Fellas, I'm not gonna lie, I've not seen the axe in here. Oh, right there! I can't pick it up, though. The game only lets me pick up the bear spray, so what do you want me to do? Oh, thank you, Dolores. And pray animal, please understand. I need to hold it. I didn't know what to make of it. The only thing that made sense at the time was to take a picture of it. Can we turn our, off our flash this time? Can you radio Connor first? Nope, I'm locked into the thing now. Strange men doing barbecue. Lights on, I'm fucked. Good news. He somehow did not see my flashlight. Oh boy. Grab the axe. I don't think I can. We run to the toilet? I can't grab the axe, dumbasses! Don't tell Connor? Can't. I run to the peat, run to the toilet, or piss on him, and that'll really confuse him. Gamers, you didn't have the spray last time, did you? I did. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Am I gonna be able to close the door? Yeah, okay. Oh. Uh, I went down south in the sea and I pal singing poly wally doodle all the day. I went to Louisiana in the sea with Susie Anna singing poly wally doodle all the day. Fairly well, clap, clap, fairly well, clap, clap, fairly well, clap. Got stuck on the door. Goodbye. Goodbye, I'm out of here. I'm fucking out of here. Goodbye. Oh, I went down south and see my holiday. I do all day. I went to Louisiana and see my Susie and I sing a holly holly doodle all day. Fairly well, clap, clap, fairly well, clap, clap, fairly well, my very may. Oh, I went to Louisiana and see my Susie and I sing a holly holly doodle all day. Fuck you, Billy. I'm not going to come see you. Ah! As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we get a little stir-crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making the whole thing up, which is really out of my character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. The picture. The picture? 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 Hello? Hello? Okay, but what about the picture? You set up the stuff about the picture. We... Pick picture. Now what happened to picture? Hello? Left the camera behind. The flash ruined it? Why would the flash ruin the picture? That doesn't make any sense. The cultist ate the photo? What? 
Hello? The cultists are the rangers? Satan's power prevented clear images, bruh. Oh, okay. You didn't get his good side. I... Are there, like, other endings or anything? I don't... I don't understand. You know how Flash always ruins pictures? Remember those old-timey powder flashes? Bro, this was like a regular fucking camera. This game takes place in 2000s. The Flash is not gonna ruin the fucking picture. You were shaking too much? I mean, we shook after, but like... Doubt it is meant to tell a specific story. Yeah, fears to fathom. Hold on. Fears to fathom. Fathom. Iron bark, lookout, endings. Oh! Fun organ fact! Did you know Portland what used to be like a major headquarters for the KKK? Fun fact? This is how to achieve all achievements. Are there no other endings? There are, there, there are no other endings. Um... Hmm. There's only one. Well... That was bad. That was really good. At the start. But... Oops. Oops, I closed out of it. But that got really bad. Never thing with the two dollars camera adjust settings with flash close range only. The ending was a letdown. That ending sucked. Hello, Ben Daddy thing with the two dollars. Connor VA was Sea Dog VA in this game? I don't think so. I think I think it said the voice actor's name. It was like Daniel or something. Was it raising one dollar? Hey, Pips, I don't know if this helps, but uh, at least on my end, the stream was good all the way through. No hiccups at all. Nice, nice. Zombie game was the best part. Kind of too abrupt of an ending. Connor and Silas were in on it. You want them in Super Chalice? Yes, please. I just held up this stream. <sighs> That ending was so bad. Mr. Earthling, Fun Doris, all that great atmosphere and tension only to end up completely fumbled in the ending, yeah. That was... really a letdown at the ending. I don't know, like, it was, it was really good up until that point. Mm-hmm. Needs, needs, like... More playtesting, I guess. I don't know. It's more like people playing it and being like, hey, fix this. Did they run out of development time? I don't know. Jason Raising, my lord, you're awesome, Pippa. Glad I could catch the stream. Thank you, thank you. Trisha, sure, I think I'm going to be high, Pippa. I haven't been able to catch many streams recently due to some personal things, but Rod's at work help pass the time. Keep up the good work. All the work went into making the meal. I don't know, and like, I feel like, like, the text messages and stuff could have gone somewhere a bit more, like... I don't know! It felt really... underutilized, I guess. Like, what was the point of stopping at the diner? Was there something that we missed at the diner? Zentetsu thing, 1,000 crocodiles, all the cultists were eaten by Bigfoot. We only got one ending, but there... it says there only is one ending. It says there's only one ending. Chad Boulder thing, $20, thanks for the stream, funny bunny. Congrats on not burning down the forest. The text never got used in a narratively important way, yeah, yeah. You kind of liked the meaningless stuff? I mean, I was fine with all of it happening, it's just, it didn't... ...build up to anything. It didn't contribute to anything. 
The point of the series is to is people send in stories and they turn them into games. The story only had one ending, so the game only gets one ending. I'm not complaining about the lack of multiple endings. I'm complaining about how the ending happened. So I crunch thing, my dollars. All the funding went into the eating noises. The climax wasn't good at all. No. Wait. I get that, like, if it's based on, like, a true story, allegedly, then, like, real stories don't always have, like, a satisfying ending. But you can still execute the unsatisfying ending in, like, a meaningful way. But... There was, like, all these little details and everything, but nothing... Really built up to anything, and then like I mean, like there was the there's the the foreshadowing with like the skull and stuff, and then the the you know, Silas who wasn't actually who he said he was, but it seems half finished. It seems half finished. The ending made the game feel like a waste of time. Hmm. It would make more sense if you play the other parts. They're self-contained stories. And the choices just didn't amount to anything. Don't be thinking, baby. Congrats on finishing the game, Pippa, even though the game was a bit lackluster for fears to fathom. Perhaps I think the ending was the fears we fathomed along the way. Hmm. And like, what was the point of the bear spray? It didn't even do anything. It's amazing, baby. If you give the waitress a big tip, she comes out of the woods and stops the cultists for you. Hmm. Hmm. The illusion of choice. A bear spray didn't do anything. And... Really? Was there, like, anything you could do to affect anything? Was there anything you could do to affect anything in this game? Did any of your choices matter in any capacity? I'm gonna read them as super chats. Ah, uh, nope, nothing. What happened to the Lost Tiger? I don't know. Your hiding spell was about it. Various to fathom Iron Bark Lookout hiker choices. Are there... Are there options? Like, is the... the the... Which direction you make the hiker go... Matter? I don't see any information on that. Hiker choices didn't matter? Damn. Man! The, like, top post is... Was that AI voice used in Ron Ross video? Because it sounds like it, and there's no name credited for the voice of that bit. Please tell me I'm wrong, because that would be majorly disappointing if so. And then GoldenEye God responds, who cares? And then somebody named Guido responds, I care! It's an interesting question and dilemma. Is okay to use the AI voice of a person that even didn't have the opportunity to agree or not for using his voice for this technology? It didn't... It didn't even sound like Bob Ross. Like... It didn't... It didn't even sound like Bob Ross. It sounded like it was the... Tower guy. So, I think you just want to be mad, bro. I think you just, I think you just want to be mad. Shocker! Uh, I'm not even worse to- Oh, I should put on some background music. <laughs> Shocker! A person on the internet making up problems to be mad about. Practicing doors. Nobody quite, nobody cares. Um, what's some, like, nice BGM? Pacific Northwest... Copyright free music. There's one song that I like, but I can't. I mean, I could play it. It's copyrighted, though. It's gonna kill. It's gonna kill the bod. He's like, I'm coming home to the place that I remember. 
Back to the land of my first love. Won't you spread wide your arms for this wayward son? I left my heart in Oregon. I'm not even worse, I think, Dolores. Cute again, as usual. Happy streaming. Thank you, thank you. Daniel Sierra, thank you, Dolores. I love Oshie and Warrior Dreams. I hope you enjoy playing. Boy, Cats here and 10 New Zealanders. I'm just hoping... Uh, oh, I'm just curious how long before Pippa dies. I hope she survives longer than the Super Chat, but that somehow doesn't seem likely. Happy birthday, Pippa. Uh, could you buy anything from Dolores? You seem to be driving a Ford Flashbang. <laughs> Skeptical Panda, they were Dolores. How many states have you been to, Pippa? Um... Quite a few. I've been to Washington, I've been to Oregon, I've been to California, I've been to Arizona, I've been to Nevada, I've been to Idaho, I've been to... Mm, a lot of places. A lot of places. Echo Sound there, Tim Dolores. Well, Pippa's voice acting, class of 09, and the coffin of Bandy and Lily made you shine. Liam Nolan there, Tim Dolores, I can say with no bias. Real, it's Oregon. Pickle cucumber thing, my Dolores, wait. Are they actually called that? Oregonos? Oregons? Called Argonians. On the road again. Which is the worst? California. Well, there's nothing for Doris. Argonians are lizard people, so call them Argonians is accurate. Since I got nothing for Doris, don't lie or bust. Potato radio thing worth five dollars. People, what do you expect from people who couldn't be trusted to pump their own gas till recently? Um, it was to create gerbs. Ken John. So mom, they were the 99 Poké Dollars. I don't see shit. Pippa, maybe it's the light. Oh, I've been to Colorado. I've been to New York. I've been to Pennsylvania. I've been to North Carolina, South Carolina, New Jersey. I feel like I'm missing some places. Dog name until I just pissed all over my floor for you, Pippa. Thanks. Now go look it up. Russell, you are there with the 333! So, how badly did you have to beat up your ISP? I didn't. Uh, Dr. Bing Sealing, we're 10 dollars. Here I come, a mega idol! Always on me, no eyes on you! You think I'm crazy, but I'm here to save the world! Squeaky Moose Singer, $20 dollars. I've got a long house built in Colorado next year, and a log visitor center for Rocky Mountain National Park. I'm excited to go get lost in my free time. Well, hell yeah! Hell yeah! Are you from Kentucky? No. Alex, I'm from Dolores. We get it, Pippa. You don't touch grass. While piling into Dolores, you need to walk on the trails, not off trail. The trail should be the only human part of the woods touched around the trail to protect the nature. Outdoor code. Uh, Lao Pao, you know what I think? You know what I think? I think people that walk on trails are cringe and stupid. Because if you're going to a, a trail, you're going to a place that is frequently touched by people. And the only based way to go outside and touch grass is to go out into the, like, the actual woods. Not like the woods that they fucking... Uh, sanitize for city slickers to go on cute little walks. That's that's how I feel. Potato redoing my doors, FYI, they rent most of them out now. Silverizing my doors like a phoenix, I rise, my works network is down. Crack rab time. What? Oops. Oops. No, go back. Go back to the other thing. I'm gonna get copyrighted. There we go. It's a trail, not a strip mall. Might as well be the same thing. Cap Spike, they were $5. Thank you for the streaming. Pippa, that plant has a potty mouth. Arc Light, they were $10. Even bad at in games. Ricker, they were $5. Tony Stark, they were $2. Toys R Us is actually reopening stores soon. Why would you go to Toys R Us when you can just go to GameStop? Same thing.
hold on. Let me turn up. Hold on. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what's that all about? <laughs> nature is beautiful. I love nature. <laughs> Next Angel Super Ten Dollars. By the way, the state recently passed a law requiring background checks and a permit to purchase guns and ammo plus magazines are limited to ten rounds. Luckily I bought mine before that shitty law passed. Organ hate. Alexander they earned three dollars. Hope you have a great day, Pippa. I'm a snailing when Lord's leave him. You don't know him. He could be a jerk. Next Angel is Ingram Dolores is the IRS. Come to collect your back come collect your back taxes. Then Tetsu thing, one thousand crocodiles, lead him to Connor's Tower. Grandma the rabbit person thing, and Laura's here is to hoping one day we get a class of 09 face connect edition also behind you! Next angel thing, my Laura's I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. Fuck off, Jack! Think of the two dollars. Great song. Black me thing, the dollars. Carbonic kid thing, my Laura's. Well, looks like it's officially time to go back home. That's just also thing, for the dollar to sing for the stream, Papa. I've been having issues with Chad not working. I have to use my phone to make it work. On a better note, I'm now an uncle! My niece was born earlier this morning. I don't know how to react. Here's the secret. Here's the secret. Buy lots of toys. Out with two of my sisters. I only have two sisters. I don't know why I said it like that. I was hanging out with, with both of my sisters. And like, they weren't really on like speaking terms 